Hi everyone, I've just released an album of instrumental electronic music. It's called Analog because it was made on mostly old-fashioned analog equipment and also because I ran out of ideas for the name of the album. It's got eight tracks and you can find the music video, sort of a music video, for one of them. And I've put the link on the description below. Among other things, I used quite a bit of modular synthesis. So I thought it might be a good idea to explain what it is, how that works, and what makes it so useful. So here we have a very basic modular setup. It's called modular because it's made of all these individual modules. You can arrange them however you want, and they communicate with each other through these cables. So you can see there's lots of inputs and outputs on each module, and then you plug a cable from one to the other like this. The first thing you need is a case. There are many types of cases, some very big, some tiny, some very professional looking, and some that are made of old IKEA shelves, like this one. Each module has its own purpose. So this one, for example, here, is a power module. So it's plugged to the power line, and then it provides power to all the other modules. Then we've got this one here on the left, and this is a main out module. So everything that we're gonna do here is gonna produce some sounds, hopefully some interesting ones. And then we're gonna send everything to this one module, and this module then sends the sound to my headphones here and to a recorder here. Let's start with this guy here. This is called a voltage control oscillator, and all it does is produce sound. Let's start by plugging the output of this guy to the main output here. And we hear something. With this knob, we can change the frequency of what we hear. So here we have a sinusoidal waveform like this. We can have it vibrate faster, a higher frequency, and the sound goes higher. All lower frequency, so a slower wave, and that produces a lower sound. This is nice, but not very pretty by itself. It'd be nice if we could have it play some notes. Every oscillator usually has a 1 volt per octave input, and that's where we tell it which note we want to play. So I'm going to take the output of this keyboard here, the pitch output, and plug it here. Now when I press a key on the keyboard, it changes the pitch of the oscillator here. So that's a bit better. Now we can play notes when I press a key. It'd be nice though if it would play a sound only when I press a key and then stop when I release the key. And we can do that using this little guy here. This is called a voltage control amplifier. Instead of coming straight out of the oscillator to the main out, now we're gonna go to this little guy and from this little guy here. So I'm gonna go like this and like that. So we're going out of the oscillator into the VCA and out of the VCA into the main out. So, so far no difference. We still have a different note when I press a key, but it still plays the sound all the time. But now we've got an extra input here and depending on the voltage that comes here, it's gonna increase or decrease the volume that is sent. So I'm gonna take a cable that comes from that keyboard again and plug it here. This comes from the gate output of the keyboard, and basically all it is, it's something that says zero, and then when I press a key, it goes up, and when I release the key, it goes down again. Now I'm not pressing anything, so there's zero volts coming here, so no sound. Then I press, lo and behold, we have a sound, and I release, and it stops, and I can still... 
play a melody. So we are a bit closer now to a regular keyboard, but when I press a key, the sound starts straight away and dies straight away. So it's like this. Press a key, start, release the key, stops. It'd be nice to have a nice shape like this, right? Because we like roundness, it's more comfortable. So we're gonna use this guy. This module actually has several functions, but we're gonna use something called the envelope generator. And all it does is generate our voltage like this, and we can control the shape with these buttons. So basically, every time I hit a key, this module is gonna generate something like this and send it to this one. So the levels of the sound we hear will go up a little bit, I release, it's gonna go down. So we're gonna send the gate out of the keyboard into the trigger here. And then we're gonna send the output of the envelope to the VCA. Okay, it still works, but it sounds exactly the same. But now look what happens as I turn this knob. So now the, the sound goes a little bit like this, instead of just like that. And then I'm gonna turn this one here. See, when I release the key now, the sound dies little by little instead of stopping abruptly. So now we have something a bit more playable. But let's add more. We're gonna use a filter. This module is a filter. So instead of going straight out of the VCA into the main out, now we're gonna go from the VCA to this module. This module is gonna do something to the sound and then back to the main out. So we go to the out here and from the VCA in. So let's try it. So, so far no change and now I'm gonna turn some knobs. Now you can see the filter is actually cutting some of the higher frequencies. We're gonna hear it better if I change the waveform. So instead of the sine wave coming from the oscillator, we're gonna get maybe a triangle here. Now. Now we can hear a bit more what the filter actually does. That's pretty cool. Now we have something even more playable. We can play notes from the keyboard. We can control the shape of the envelope, make it very snappy or longer. And we can control some of the uh, frequency cutoff here. So that's all nice and good, but why bother doing all of this? Because you could actually buy a small keyboard, which would be cheaper, and would have all of that wired in already. But the cool thing with a modular system is that, first of all, you can switch components. So let's say I want to get a different filter. So I'm going to use this guy here. This is also a filter, just under this green plant, uh, but it has a different quality to it. So let's see what this sounds like. Ooh. This filter is a bit more angry than the other one. It's growling for some reason. So I could just switch to another filter without having to buy a whole new keyboard. We can also easily add extra modules. So for example, we've got this little cute echo in here. So instead of going straight to the out, we're gonna go into the echo and then from the echo to the output. So it 
gives a bit of character to the sound. Now let's do something a bit fun. Instead of using the keyboard to send notes and triggers to the oscillator and to the envelope generator, we're going to use this module. This module can generate a series of voltages or notes, and then we're going to use that to control other modules. So instead of going to the one volt per octave from the keyboard, we're going to go from one of the outputs of this module. And then instead of triggering the envelope generator from the keyboard, we're going to do it from this guy. So now you see it's playing each note in sequence like this. And why not using this one to also control the filter? So I'm going to send this to the frequency cutoff of the filter. And we can tell it to go a bit faster. change which waveform we use. So let's try now to patch just more things for fun. I hope you found this interesting, if so please don't hesitate to like this video, to subscribe and don't forget to listen to the album, it's on Apple Music, it's on Spotify and I hope you'll enjoy it.